Howard, the lead. Eric, you mentioned Ryan Howard's slow offensive output game at K-State. One thing Kyrell just said is we went through the film and we went down inside of five to go here in the opening quarter. Big Ten program record. They thought, according to Terry Moore, that it was going to be a deep NCAA tournament run a year ago, but as we all know, there were no NCAA tournament. Now Pat Bird to go coast to coast for that pull-up jumper. Fort versus just being patient and trying to work the ball side to side. Howard. Patterson. They get Howard a touch late in the shot clock. She'll feel a lot better. It's better than any bag of ice you can throw on anything. Four or five so far. Howard fighting on the offensive glass in the second chance here for Kentucky. Howard, one too many steps in here for the most part, though, as we play into the third quarter for the Wildcats, ranked 11th in the country. Shot clock down to two. Howard has to heave it. Rebound. And defending Howard with the three fouls, but no defending that. A season ago, I built up a lot of trust to stay out there with the three fouls. Howard, 11, playing in Lexington, 13th ranked Indiana, 2 0 on the season. Kentucky. Oh. Look for Howard, and. Uh, not surprised at all, this team was picked to win the Big Ten this season. Howard. Again. She had the size advantage to take it up. Howard can't get the leaner. Rebound for Patterson and a second chance here for Kentucky. Eric, I got to tell you, as a former coach, all these offensive rebounds are driving me crazy because <laughs> what's happening is teams just aren't boxing out. They're turning instead of being fundamental. Kentucky, as we're seeing yet again here tonight. Just a lid on the hoop right now for Indiana. They've missed their last six field goal attempt and a rebound for Kentucky. Howard. Catches Indiana napping. On the left block to Dreonna Edwards. Cross the floor to, ha uh, to Howard. Right wing three is good for Ryan. Left to Edwards. Marshall's in a matchup zone. Here's Ryan Howard all alone. Right wing three rattling along the perimeter. Sybil's guarding her. Owen sets a pick. Howard comes off to green. Left side three in the air. Bottom. Right side. Hunt drives free throw line off to Howard. Left wing three. Off the mark right. Blows it down offensively. 142 to play first quarter. Ryan trying to shake loose with Sybils. Comes down to the free throw line. Into the paint. Puts up a tough right hand floater and gets Sybils. Ripped it away from her before she stepped out of bounds. 
So Kentucky has the basketball. Four seconds to go in the quarter. Here's Howard from 17. No good. Marshall. Inbounds comes to Owens right corner. They come back to Howard right side three ball. Rimcats have led by 15. They have not trailed. Scoring the first 13 of this outing. Here's Howard down the right side. A lot of contact. Left wing three. No good. Howard runs down the rebound in the far left corner. They'll find Blair Green, free throw line jumper for Blair. Throws it off to Howard upstairs. Ryan launching a three ball. No good. Two and a half minutes to go third quarter. Howard with the right hand dribble into front court. Comes down top of the key. Howard into the lane. A little Euro step. Gets a floater to get to the top of the key. Find Ryan Howard left wing. Now the corner to Edwards. Edwards back to Howard. Wide open three. Bottom off the glass. Kicks Hunt right corner three. Air balled. Rebound off the fingertips of Ryan Howard. She saves it on the end line. Out to Roach. Left side three is good. Leveretter. Left side treasure Hunt. Treasure looking inside for Howard. Finds her in the left block. Ryan backs out towards the arc, eight to shoot. Ryan launches a three. Off. Five of these players can stretch the court. They can shoot from the outside. Sanford starts out with a tough man-to-man -man defense. Helps her, she's able to kick out to the wings. Well, she's listed as 6'2", play so much bigger yep. than that. There's a three for Pat, stolen right back away again from Patterson. That's exactly what I was talking about earlier with that on-ball defense. Chastity Patterson has such... Yeah, the fact that this lady right here has two points. Shot in the arm here. That's the way he's seven. Edwards, the leading scorer in the game. With now 10. Blair Green takes a seat. This is such a deep Kentucky team. Howard, three, good. Edwards trying to do. Here's Howard, another three. That was just a... Roaches three and she knocks it. Cameron was sitting there, so she kind of penetrates a little bit to draw the defense and just kicks it out to him. Jet puts it on the floor and it's stolen away, but Howard steals it right back and it's a one on four and she gives it off and laid in the game in other ways. Like that? Yes, exactly. <laughs> she sweeps it up and, and Howard steps back. Of times the Cats have had three point shots, but passed on him, and that time their top player is not here anyway. Another three on the way. This one by Howard. She knocks it down to the game. Howard, Ooh, all the way that you and I have talked about a couple of times where that there's some adjustment there. They're pretty balanced 23 in the first and third, 27 points in the second quarter. Tough three. They dribble through half the shot clock now as it goes inside of 10. Well, we've seen Sanford this game really make some tough shots.
Kentucky. Much better rebounding for the Cats. They are much bigger at every single position. Well, I think which are also the Benton, the transfer from Auburn. Ryan Howard. Good play basketball, football, everything else. Howard steps right in that. Score. In trouble here. Oh, he is. Get the ball in. It went off the leg of one of their players out of bounds. So a free possession by Kentucky. Now two of 20 from the field. This is Massengill. First game for her in a Wildcat uniform. Patton's hands out of bounds. Another turnover, and Kentucky gets the ball. And she's rewarded with a quick chastity Patterson is may have the quickest hands I've ever seen on a female athlete. There's well, another one. <laughs> Open three for Ryan Howard in and out. Bring points or not, she is affecting the ball game. <laughs> and there she is again, stepping in the passing lane. A beautiful bounce pass. Edwards with the left hand. Edwards is trying to go up and under was Lily Hatton. It's blocked away. Howard lines up another three, and she knocks it down. in there by Tomlin and knocked it out of bounds, but it stays Kentucky's ball. Kiki McKinney is a player. Really matured physically as well. Three we'll on the leader. A splash. He's from Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Look it back over to Howard again. She misses.
Mississippi State pressure. They will make you work for it on offense. Howard. Help comes, but court vision is something that you've seen develop over the last couple of years. And for the Bulldogs. Yeah, that's not, gonna, that's not a miss that you're going to see Carter have often. Uh, considering she's shooting 63%, certainly different for these teams who play at home. And I'm thinking of Mississippi State and South Carolina who jump out who are used to big crowds. Tamika, you were used to it in your playing day by picking up a foul. So Mingo Young comes back into the game for Mississippi State. Jackson tries to defend. Uh, she stepped right in her rhythm, got that shot off. But that's what she does. I feel like she's always in the right place at the right time. Lane. Kiki McKinney into the passing lane to take it away. Green spots up for three. To the shot in rhythm and they're able to knock him down. 50% from the three point. You can see on the season, not great. A little bit, but in the second half to get Carter going down low. Carter is one of seven from the floor. McKinney, another three. Last year averaged 13 points a game. She's up near 17 points a game so far this season. You want to elevate your game. Now Jackson's defending Howard, and that's impossible. You, not just good, you want to be great. Nikki's always had that passion about her, and the way she talks, and, you know, she gets fired up. When she gets fired up, you know. That's played well on the road in Starkville today. Well, it's been interesting too as you watch the matchup show you know, one thing we talked about early in the game is Ryan Howard He's every day She wants to see it in practice that that you know, Nikki's been around some great players in her time is the pull up Well, I mean we talked about the energy in the building, right? The lack of fans you are used to the hump going crazy into the basket Howard open look Howard with the steal. And the finish. More from Washington. She's got 15 points, too shy of her season high. And Mississippi State is now 6 of 12 from outside the three-point line. Howard, use it. The confidence that she's playing with right now, he's not backing down to anybody. Nor is the timeout. Howard looking for contact three. Now... Ryan Howard. Howard. Knox. Ooh. Howard, nifty little move. Can't get it to drop, but she follows her own miss. And a wide open three for Ryan Howard. Has been a team that can close. We've seen that this year. Are they doing it again? Howard dribbles it off her team. Will step up and continue to play at, at a high level. Wiggins def defending Howard. Howard hesitation. 14 points in tack time. But she just come out. I mean, she puts her head down and she goes. Things that need to be done for tonight's game. McKinney, Ryan Howard for three. 12 points for Jemiah on four of seven shooting. Howard. Trey Edwards. One of two. Edwards is there for the steal for Kentucky. And that's really one of Texas a and That's their game plan. They like to start the ball. Eight start from outside the three-point line to start the season. So Kentucky is led by Ryan Howard with the basketball from six. Doesn't want to hear. Next whistle is the media timeout. <laughs> That's the only thing that is going to cool her off right now. Five for five. Been able to catch that ball and score it. Let alone catch it and stride like she just did and finish strong. There's Robin Bent. Howard, that's all she needs is a little open. Well, Ryan Howard has attempted three shots here. Oh, nice little stutter step. Ryan Howard will bring it up, guarded by Kayla Wells as we start the second. Two more. One of these short in your bench and who you play, but Coach Blair has been able to play the last game against Florida. He played all 50. Great curl right there, though, by Wells. Howard! Coach Blair, 
I actually went, when he was at Arkansas, I went on a recruiting visit because I respect him so much and what he's been able to do and how he transformed to Jones. That's what she does. She just goes. Howard. Oh, without Carter, what can she do? The you know, one great thing is that it doesn't have to be the Kayla Wells show. Scoring the starting five, the only scores for Texas A&M. Mentioned Howard with 12, six for Benton off the bench at Patterson point line. They make on average five threes a game. Howard, yes. Right. Fouls right now. They still have more to go. Johnson with the rebound and Howard has Jones on the switch. Nifty dribble gives it up to Wyatt. Unselfish. Is being able to dribble drive in come out of the play just a little bit, but some most of the decisions she makes. Tenth block for Kiki McKinney on the season, who answers on the other. And how third quarter with to figure out a way to, to attack the basket down low. Howard in trouble. With previous shots. She's got 13. Howard has to heave it. People feel like they need to dribble through press when you see a full court press, but the fastest way to break a press is to get people open and pass the ball. Gotten a lot of shots within her range down low, but she's done really good. She's done a really good job of controlling. Leah Wilson, who had 11 points in the first half. She's got 16 now for the game. Howard. That three won't go down, and there's Patterson playing big again. Howard on selfish play. In that possession, she's bringing it down the court. She got an assist in that position, in transition. And we've already seen her this year. Howard going baseline through two dirts. Howard off the screen. Floating. A top 10 battle in the SEC. Howard back door. Beautiful. Benton feeding Howard on the fadeaway. And size wise, oh, they got to let him get switched up. Howard for two. Play for Destiny Henderson. Ryan Howard with the ball, just a few seconds left. The three from Howard. Change. And this is artwork from Ryan Howard that was from that Unity March. And that Unity March, Kara Eldley encouraged her shots a game, keep shooting the whole time. And this year, she has so many other weapons around her, and she's learned to it against South Carolina. We'll keep an eye on Jasmine Massengill, who just left the game. That just means Kentucky has more weapons out there. Carolina, I'm sending a double team. Make somebody else handle the ball through the end of this quarter. Owens crashing the boards. They get it back. Howard turns around. South Carolina to get second chance points on the glass. If they can clean that up, Kentucky can have a good night. But we're already seeing the difference in this Kentucky. Won't go. South Carolina has struggled to make some easy layups. Don Staley actually had them watch every missed layup on Wednesday. Seven seconds for Howard. It's five for you right there. Coast to coast. What a difference it makes to have Aaliyah Boston on the floor for South Carolina. Kentucky has led, was leading for 24 plus minutes in this game. The South Carolina team has been trying to find, finding that identity after losing two big seniors who led this program for so many years. Now, who is this 18 game SEC win streak is on the line for the Gamecocks, including 14 on the road. 
basket. That will leave driving lanes or pull that shot blocker away. Patterson fell under the basket. Power time. And a double-double for Boston. Three. She can score it in so many different ways. Is it Howard time tonight? 